Hi everyone, uh, I hope you're ready for another sound and this time we're going back to a bouncy sound again. Uh, so it's going to be nice and short and this one my mouth doesn't move a lot. So for this one my teeth need to be together and my mouth needs to be quite closed and my sound today is d d d d d d and when I do it I've got to start with my tongue touching my uh, touching the top of my mouth but then it does move d d d d d your turn and tell your partner d d d d d my turn d d d your turn and tell your partner d d d well done now, as you know, uh, we're obviously not at school, so I don't have my friend Freddie, which is a shame. Uh, but I did, I did talk to him the other day, and I asked him to send me some things to help us with our phonics. Uh, so he managed to send me a few pictures from Squirrels class, which I gave said a big thank you, and I said I know that you'd be happy as well. Uh, so he sent me a few pictures of some d words. So our first one is a d d. Dog, your turn. And tell your partner, d d dog. And that one we can actually sound out quite easily as well. So my turn, d o g dog. Your turn. And tell your partner, d o g dog. Uh, and he also showed me, which I saw some of these the other day actually. Uh, a d d duck, which at first I thought looked a little bit like a, a goose or a swan, but no, it's a d d duck. Your turn. And tell your partner, d d duck, and a d d doll. Your turn. And tell the ceiling, d d doll. And tell your hand, d. D doll and tell your shoulder d d doll and the last one he sent me as well was this one a d d dinosaur your turn and if you look at my mouth when I make this sound you can see it does move a little bit so it does move a little bit when I make this sound d d dinosaur your turn So I'm feeling nice and kind today, so I thought I'd start the picture, not the letter first. And here is our d d dinosaur. Uh, so remember that our dinosaur has got a big bottom, which means that it has to go backwards. If it goes forward, then it means he's got a big belly and it looks more like a b b b. We don't want that. So this time we don't start right at the top, but we start in the middle. So sharpen your pencil. And give it a little wave, and give it a little blow, and give it a draw. Lovely. So I want you to put it on the floor with me, using your magic pencil, put it on the floor. And we go back around the dinosaur, up to his head, and down to his tail. Well done. So again, you see, I did not take my pencil off when I was writing this. So again, we're going to do it two more times, ready? Off we go. Back around the dinosaur's bottom. Up to his head. And down to his tail. Lovely. And one more time. Oh, it's his feet, sorry, not his tail, his feet. One more time, off we go. Back round the dinosaur's bottom, straight up to his head and down to his feet. And then we've got to do that little flick at the bottom to make it nice and neat. Okay, so that's our picture and that's our rhyme. But of course, this is what we're going to be seeing and this is what we're going to be writing. D, D, dinosaur. Your turn. And so one more time, we'll just practice about the picture. So you can see exactly what we're doing. So off we go. Back round the dinosaur's bottom. 
straight up to his head and down to his feet. Brilliant. Uh, Freddie only managed to find me a couple of words today, which is a shame, but I thought we'd read through them really nice and quickly so that I can say that we did them, because I know that will that will cheer him up, knowing that we've used them. So, reading fingers ready. And again, we can see it's only got three sounds. It's only got three sound buttons there. So my turn first. D, I, G. Your turn. And read it to your partner. D, I, G. This time, I want you to clap it while we read it. So off we go. D, I, G. Dig. And I want you to stamp it with your feet. Off we go. D, I, G. Dig. And I want you to bounce it on your bottom. Ready? Off we go. D, I, G. Dig. Well done. And this one. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm glad I found this one. Because this one's actually got two D in it at the beginning and the end. But it's also got one that looks very similar. It's got an A. So you can see that when you do the D, you have to make his head much taller. Otherwise, it'll look like an A. So ready? My turn. This one doesn't have any sound buttons, but we can still read it. So reading fingers ready? Off we go. D, A, D. Your turn. And tell your partner. D, A, D. And this time I want you to drum it on your legs. And we're going to blend this at the end. Ready? Off we go. D, A, D. Dad. And this time I want you to pass it on your tummy. Ready? Off we go. D, A, D. Dad. Well done. So, time to do some writing now. And I've got a bit of a longer word here today. And I thought we'd have a bit of a challenge because both of these words have got digraphs in. Because there's my, uh, they're my sound lines. So the first word I'd like us to do is drink. Very important when it's hot to have lots and lots to drink. And I've chosen this one because it's got, it's got a bit of a tricky sound in the middle that we must remember. Drink. So I'm going to go first. Off I go. D, r, i, n, k. Off we go. D, r, i, n, k. Drink and tell your partner. So I've chosen this one because it's a bit tricky because it sounds like a j, 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 but it's actually a d. D, d, drink. D, d, drink. So I need to make sure that I go back around the dinosaur's bottom, straight up to his head so it doesn't look like an air, and down to his feet. Now, I wanted to do this one because it's got a soft sound in the middle, which we sometimes miss. D, r, because if we forget that, it becomes d, i, n, k, dink. And we don't have a dink, we have a drink. So d, r, down the robot, up and over his arm. D, r, yes, good. I, 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 insect. So down the insect, remember his feet, and then up in the air, dot his head. D, r, i, n, k, n, k. So, n, k. I think I stink. N, k. There we go, well done. Okay, oh, I could have made that a little bit taller. Sorry, that was my fault. Drink. Okay. And this time, I thought we'd start with a digraph. So this one, I've got one of these in my gardens. I'm sure lots of your adults do as well. A shed. So, sh, e, d. Can you help me? Off we go. Sh, e, d. Shed. So, first one. That tricky dry, that tricky digraph. Shh. Which is actually an S, which we did the other day, a sliver down the snake. And uh and again remember I've got to make that huh nice and tall. The horse is head, otherwise it looks like an m, mm, doesn't it? Eh eh egg. So I need to cut the egg, and that's got to be nice and straight. Cut the egg. 
and scoop it out. Sh, e, d. There's our d. I was wondering when that was going to come in. Sh, e, d. So again, we go back around the dinosaur's bottom, straight up to his head, and down to his feet. And there we go. We've done our writing for today. Brilliant. Thank you very much.